Brace yourselves. Today, we are getting a massive announcement that is not going to affect just the price of SHIB, but the price of the broader crypto market. What I'm talking about is today's conclusion of the FOMC meeting. If you guys aren't familiar, it's when the Fed gets together and they decide whether or not they're going to raise interest rates. If they decide to do so today, we would be receiving the 10th straight time, 10th straight meeting that they've decided to raise interest rates. This is what the chart looks like back in February of 2022. We started at a quarter percent. We are now up to 5% today ahead of this meeting. Now, why this is important, why you should know this. One of the biggest things that's been affecting not just the broader crypto market, but the economy as well, has been inflation. Inflation needs to get under control. We talk about it all the time. Obviously, the prices, you guys see them everywhere, gas prices in the, in the stores, right? goods and services, pretty much anywhere you look, inflation, it, we're feeling it, okay? Now, they're trying to get this under control, and by doing that, they need to essentially squeeze the economy. We are now at a point where we're, we are starting to feel that squeeze, so the Fed's got a very sticky decision to make here about whether to raise rates again or not, because we are starting to see pullbacks here. We're seeing the, the CPI reports are getting better, inflation's coming down, the jobs reports are cooling. Now we have a GDP report that's come back, and that's been less than expected as well, so if you continue to raise rates too high, you could essentially cripple the economy. You could push the economy into a recession. That's why they have a very, they have to kind of tiptoe around this, okay? So it even says here that Powell won't rule out number 11 if they decide to do a raise again today, which I think if you keep, if you keep pushing too much, you're going to get to that point of recession. Now, we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen today. Betting odds are on that they do raise it another quarter percent, Okay. Now, this is going to be the first report, the first report in a series of, of catalysts, okay? Because we have the FOMC meeting conclusion today. We have the jobs report on the 7th, and then the CPI report, I believe, is on the oh, what is it, the 12th or 13th? I'd have to double check that before I get that to you guys. But today is a big day. Today is what's going to give the market a little bit of direction. We've needed some direction. There's been a lot of uncertainty floating around. It's the reason why. You know, BTC has been sitting around 28.5. We got past 30, but we couldn't really hold it. We've just kind of been chilling here. Okay, the bulls have still been in control. They haven't relinquished control of this market at the time at this time, but it's waiting for that next leg up. She and you right now sitting around four zeros one. All right, we obviously had that dip. Now the cool thing here, if you guys aren't familiar, we've actually been forming a little bit of a trend reversal here. You guys can see since we dropped down to this this low level, this uh, four zeros nine eight, we started to turn around and move to the upside with some strong reporting today, with some great guidance from Powell after whatever we receive, whether that's an interest rate hike or a, a flat period. We may continue this trend and continue to move the upside, break four zeros one, and start to work our way up up towards some more comfortable levels. Now, right now we are going through some quantitative tightening. And this chart is looking like eventually here sometime in late 2023 or into early 2024, we may enter some quantitative easing, them actually lowering the interest rates as inflation starts to, to really cool down. So that's kind of what to expect today. Obviously, we don't know whether we're going to get a rate hike or not. Quarter percent may not make too much of a difference because obviously we still have these reports following that, but hopefully they come out on the right side. I'm, I'm praying, guys. I'm hoping that we get some good direction today. But I appreciate you as always. Show your support below if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. Stay updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. Hope you have a great day. And I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Take care.